We need to partition these numbers into tenths, hundredths and thousandths. So first we have 0 0.158 and we can show the partitioning in both fraction and in decimal form. So the first digit after the decimal point is the tenths digit, so we have one tenth. Then the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit, so that's five hundredths. And the third digit after the decimal point tells us how many thousandths we have, so we have eight thousandths. We can show this partition in decimal form as well. That's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.008 because the first digit after the decimal point is the tenths and we have one tenth. The second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths and we have five hundredths and the third digit is the thousandths and we have eight thousandths. So now we have 0 0.629. The first digit is the tenths so that's six tenths. The second digit is the hundredths, so that's two hundredths. And the third digit is the thousandths, so that's nine thousandths. In decimal form, we can write this as 0 0.6, because the first digit is the tenths digit, plus 0 0.02, because the second digit is the hundredths digit, plus 0 0.009, because the third digit after the decimal point is the thousandths digit. We can also show the decimal partition as a column addition. So for 0 0.158, we had 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.008. Now we can write these numbers out with the decimal points lined up, because if the decimal points are lined up, then the other place values, so the ones, tenths, hundredths and thousandths columns will be lined up as well. Now when we're adding decimals we can write zeros in empty squares because 0 0.100 is the same as 0 0.1. All these zeros tells us is that we don't have any extra hundredths or thousandths and we can write a zero in this empty square as well. So now we copy the decimal point down into our answer so that the place values in our answer are lined up as well. And now 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8, 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. And you can see that when we add the partitioned numbers, we get the number that we started with. For 0 0.629, we saw that that was 0 0.6, plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.009. So again, we can write the numbers out with the decimal points lined up so that our place values are lined up as well. We can write zeros in empty squares and then the decimal point needs to be written in our answer. We can add each column using column addition and that gives us 0 0.629, so the number that we started with. Let's have another look at this first question. 0 0.158 is one tenth, five hundredths, and eight thousandths. So we can show the partition using place value counters as well. And for 0 0.629, we had six tenths, two hundredths, and nine thousandths. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.